Hello everyone, welcome back to My Creative Ego. As most of you know, Michael's had their grab boxes and grab bags, but more importantly, what do you guys actually do with everything that you get from them? So today I'm gonna show you what I got in my grab boxes and how I'm actually using them. So as you can see, this is like cutlery holders and it looks like it's a whole lot, but you know, you think about your formal, your regular dining, your kitchen, and you know, my mom could probably use 17 of these no problem between all of her dining tables. It's really pretty and elegant, so if you're hosting a party or doing any type of entertaining, this would be really nice for that. I'm not even sure if I set this up correctly. I think that the closer utensils to you are supposed to be the ones that you use first, like your soups, your salads. I'm not even sure. <laughs> kind of like a steak sandwich and potatoes kind of gal, so <laughs> I don't really need them as cutlery holders, so I would probably just repurpose them for other things. Like it's really great to use like a loop bag, like you can put pencils in here, so that's really, really cute. You can also, you know, use it as a loaded envelope, but it's not that much room in there. So you can put like a few cute little pens and paper clips, or you can use them for candy. Like I thought it would be really cute for candy canes. I don't have any candy canes to show you, but between my grab boxes last year and this year, I can make a few candy canes, I guess. So yeah, you can do something like this, or you can just put like candy bars in there. And I have to say, I am a huge fan of Payday candy bars. Like, it's like my all-time favorite. I know it's super old school. <laughs> I'm not sure if many people know what it is, but yeah, it's a really good candy bar. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can definitely put that or do a mixture of like candy bars, candy canes, and pencils. So if you turn them into loot bags, it's definitely going to be making spirits bright. And we're gonna keep this train moving right along. Because you're bound to run into one of these Christmas cards if you pick up a grab box. So I got two different types and four in total. So I got two of this style and two of these really beautiful ones that say Christmas greetings. And you know, you gotta remember that it's all packaged in this really, really nice box. So in the back, you'll see that there is the price tag. Beautiful thing about this is that it comes off very, very clean so that we can upcycle this box. So they pretty much provided everything we needed to decorate this box. You just need to B-Y-O-W-T, bring your own washi tape. <laughs> so you can actually put it around the frame of the box like this. So if you need something very inexpensive to kind of like decorate a bookcase, bring that Christmas cheer to it, you can use it kind of like a shadow box or you can decorate it like it's a pre-made gift box, which is always good to have around Christmas time because things get really, really busy. It's a great size for like a blouse. You can even put this frame that I just got and the stamp that I just got in this grab box and you can decorate that with some pom-poms. So these pom-poms are coming from the picks that were all over this grab box. So I just plucked them off the picks and threw them in here. You can use them kind of like styrofoam. You know, if you need to package something and you have a lot of empty space in that box and you don't want it rattling around. So I got a total of 17. Nine of them had the solid red color. Five of them had a mixture of green and red. And three of them had like red and white. You can also use the card to cover the top of the box as well if you don't want the contents to be shown. So it's a really great option if you run out of gift wrapping paper, or again, you can just leave the top clear if you want the contents to show. And so we have something like this, and it's ready to give off as a gift, but that's just kind of an example because I'm definitely going to keep the stamp. So I like to call the stamp the star of the show because this is something I definitely would pay $4 for. So this made this grab box worth every single penny that I put into it. I'm so happy that I found this. It's a really cute stamp. So you can stamp it out. It has a little paw, so it looks like it's holding on to something. So I put it on this little gift card holder, which is super cute, right? And then you can also put it onto like a paper clip for like memos. I just really love how the paws kind of hang down because it looks like it's grabbing onto something. So for me, the whole point of buying these type of grab boxes is just having fun with it, being able to see 
what I can get for $4. And I love it because there's all these things that I normally wouldn't buy. Like when I go into Michael's, I'm like after the stamps, the cardstock, things like that. So it's really fun to be able to work with a lot of these different type of materials, create new projects for it. So there's still so much more to go. We're only in the middle of the video. And if you haven't already and you wanna be up to date with all of these unboxings that I'm doing and the projects, don't forget to subscribe. And as you can see, the hashtag is also a glass ornament that I got from my grab box. Actually, I got quite a few ornaments, so I probably will do like one whole video devoted to like um, decorating all the ornaments, so stay tuned for that one as well. And if you got one of these ornaments and it's not really your style or doesn't match your motif, you know, you can always flip it around because it's actually pure gold in the back, so maybe you can decoupage the front or something like that. And since we're on the topic of gold, why not talk about all these gold antler picks that I got from here as well. I think that this is going to be another future project. It's so cute. Like I can imagine pairing these antlers with like um, a styrofoam ball, a circle styrofoam ball. But just to kind of give you an idea because I haven't worked on that project quite yet. You want to take something circle. You have your antlers, you know, put some googly eyes on there. Maybe give it a little nose, a red nose like Rudolph and... I don't know, he's kind of looking like Elmo right now. I'm not sure, it's probably the nose. Speaking of noses, I did get one of these as well. It's a light up nose, so you can actually use the band that it comes with to put it over your nose. And kind of going back to the reindeers. So there was this picture frame and it says our first Christmas and it's very specific. So if you don't really have like an our first Christmas moment, you can use like a paper straw like I did here. This was from my last year's grab box and the candy canes that I made for you earlier. So I had a lot of great moments from Christmas 2019 and I can definitely use this picture frame now. And then they had the scented reindeer poop slime. And I figured, you know, I could probably upcycle the little um, poop bits, you know, <laughs> it sounds so weird. But you know, you can use them in like shaker cards. Huh? What? No. 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 Hi! <laughs> I'm not sure how you guys feel about scented, slimy reindeer droppings, but yeah. <laughs> Um, this is definitely going to be a stocking stuffer. This will also be a stocking stuffer. You know, I thought maybe they would put like a unicorn toy in there, but it's just literally the picture on the front. I think it's pretty much what you see right here. That's what it is. And this is pretty questionable to me because, you know, at first the head kind of looks like it's a seal, but then when you see it all together, you're thinking maybe squirrel or prehistoric squirrel before it evolved. I don't know. Um, so I will try to do a project on this later on. Um, maybe I'll paint it, see if I can make it any better, make it look more like a squirrel later on. So stay tuned for that one. There was also this with raccoons in there. So this is what I like to call gifts for the naughty list. So <laughs> you can still definitely use this little piece right here. I don't know how the receiver of this type of gift would take it because it does have like trash cans and raccoons. Um, other things that might have belonged in the trash can would probably be this pen, which was super like grimy and grungy. You can't really see it on camera because I wiped it down as much as I could, but yeah. <laughs> um, and then there was this random piece of floral um, leaf, which I did use though. I put them in another flower um, arrangement that I had. A Christmas pick that has been picked off because it says it's $6, but I can't believe that this would be worth $6, so it's definitely missing some pieces. <laughs> But all in all, I would say that this grab box definitely made it onto Santa's nice list. So Santa left behind his headband or hat and he's definitely approving of this box as well. And you can't dance around the numbers, so let's take a quick look at that because I know a lot of you like to see the breakdown of all the items. So retail value was $439.95. I paid $4. There was a total of 82 items. So with all of those items, I wanted to see how much each item would, you know, approximately come out. So it was like literally less than a nickel for each item. So that was really cool, right? And, you know, I'm going to show you the actual unboxing, like when I got the box, because, you know, I usually take my videos when I have everything organized and cleared up. But I know a lot of you love the surprises of how, well, it's not really a surprise now, but I know how you guys love the process of being able to open up the box and see how everything was kind of like laid out in there. So, yeah, I definitely had to organize this box. Like I said earlier, I am also going to follow the same format for the other grab boxes 
because there are quite a few. So stay tuned for those boxes as well. Again, they'll have the project. So I hope this video is helpful for all of you who are watching it. I hope it can make you feel more appreciative of the grab box that you picked up because I know sometimes when you look at these grab boxes, you kind of think to yourself, what did I just buy, right? <laughs> So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of all of my new videos. I thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.